Since the Live Your Dream Awards began in 1972, tens of thousands of women throughout our Federation have overcome obstacles and changed the course of their life. And so Optimus has championed the success of these motivated and hardworking women by providing them with over 36 million in cash grants. Now we have a big goal to achieve in 2031. Investing in the dreams of half a million women and girls through access to education. The Live Your Dream Awards will be a key part of achieving our goal. Our SAI Board of Directors put out the call for regions, clubs, and members to work together to increase the impact of this program. They are thrilled by our Federation's progress with the Live Your Dream Awards. This initial success demonstrates the power of a global organization working together. Our Southern region has contributed to Seroptimus global impact by awarding or honoring 29 women with $54,200 in, in funding and additional support by mentoring, providing childcare, and guidance in how to handle finances. I want to sincerely thank each club that participated in our Sir Optimus Live Your Dreams Award. Your time, your energy, and generation made a big, sorry, generosity. <laughs> <laughs> made a big difference in supporting women throughout our region to live their dreams for a better life for themselves and their families. Because of our contribution, SIA also gives us money at the region level. And we have two, um, two winners. But can I have um, Mary Ann come up? Casey, I'm sorry. Sarah, go ahead. Do you know if she's in on Zoom? She is here. Yes. She's here. Okay. First, I would like to thank SI and SI Southern Region for providing this yearly additional award to our Live Your Dream recipients. It really does help them. One of ours, SI Davy, is Lillian Letart. She hi, is. Say hi, Lillian. Hi, Lillian. <laughs> Lillian is a single mother of three children. She's currently attending Broward College for her associate's degree in nursing, and she's graduating in May of 2025. Lillian, do you have a few words for us? Uh, yes, I wanted to say hi to everybody. Hold on, Hold on Lillian. One second. I think, okay, hang on a second. Okay. I'm going to do, I'm going to mute. Hey, Lillian, can you say hello? Hi. Um, hi, everyone. I just wanted to say thank you so much. When I originally submitted my application for the Davy Award, I remember reading about this regional award and I didn't think much of it because I just didn't think it would be me. And when I received the call, I cried happy tears in the middle of Target because it was such an amazing thing. And this is going to help me a lot with going towards my goal of graduating from the nursing program soon. So thank you so much. This helps so much. Also, let's 
Leslie, you feel like coming on up here? Uh, next minute was um, Karina Ferreira. <coughs> so Karina was going to be here with us and share her story. And uh, her little daughter, three years old, broke her couple of ribs. And had to have everything, had to have surgery yesterday. So I offered a touch. She wasn't able to zoom in with us, understandably. So, but she did agree for me to give her story. And um, I, I took a summary from her application. So a couple of essays that she had um, supplied. So a lot of this I'm going to be quoting from that. So Karina lives in Deltona. She's the single mother of two children, ages seven and three. She's a full-time student attending Florida Atlantic University working on a bachelor's degree in accounting. She plans to graduate in June 2024. She's also been working full-time for the last seven years doing accounting for a public school. She's the first person in her family to attend college. Her parents and family emigrated from Brazil years ago and they did not graduate from high school. She hopes she's an example and inspiration to her children and her younger siblings to attend college and achieve a better life. Karina has faced many challenges. She is divorced and a domestic violence survivor with no child support. And I'm quoting here, her ex-husband is incarcerated and will be, continue to be for 11 years. It wasn't easy, but I took the initiative to leave my abusive husband because I needed a safe place for me and my kids. Because of the violence, she and her son are in new group therapy for PTSD. And, and I have to tell you, we had a luncheon for her, um, our two award winners, and she really does have PTSD. She was um, a mess, <laughs> poor thing, um, even just talking about it. Marina's goal is eventually to be the director of a public school district. She also wants to give back to the community by assisting poor families with anything related to accounting, and to inspire and support domestic violence survivors like me. And she's just so thankful for this. This is a real boost for her. So, thank you, Doug. The Live Your Dream program is one of our signature programs. And I just want to, again, reiterate that I thank each club for participating. So keep up the good work. <laughs> 